News for Jack's IT team investigator Tarek Miner spoke with a cybersecurity expert about this latest breach and locals here in Jacksonville about information being compromised. The city of Jacksonville Beach, the Ascension Healthcare System, and now the Florida Department of Health all sharing one thing in common. They've all been hacked by cyber thieves who are holding stolen data as ransom. News for Jax has learned that Florida Department of Health's vital statistics information was targeted in the latest breach. Cybersecurity expert Scott Schoberg, who is the CEO of Berkeley Veritronics, says medical and health information overall has been a common target for hackers. Because they know when there's richness of data, and what do we mean by that? Any type of health records, they're extremely rich with personal identifiers, that type of information that maybe it's a particular diagnosis. Maybe it's uh, your COVID test. Maybe it's other prescription medication that you're taking. All of those codes and things could be used to really make false claims to insurance companies and invoice them to get collection of a lot of money. And it's hard for the insurance companies to catch up with it. The Department of Health has only confirmed that the attack affected the vital statistics system used to issue birth and death certificates. According to the Miami Herald, that's also had an impact on tax collectors' offices and funeral homes in the state, which routinely have to access that system. The Florida Department of Health is responsible for overseeing all 67 health departments, licensed doctors, nurses, and other health-related professions. Obviously, there was a weakness of vulnerability that was exploited. But guess what? Most government systems, I don't want to say all of them, but most of them have a number of vulnerabilities. And, and, and guess what? From the cybersecurity world, they have to get it right every single time. But think about it from a cyber criminal. All they got to do is get it right once. It may have started with an innocent phishing attack. There's somebody there, maybe at the hospital or one of the government workers clicked on something and said, oh, what's this? Not realizing it was a redirect. Now it downloads malware, a particular strand that's usually ransomware. News for Jax asked locals about the hack and what they thought about the responsibility of state government to keep Floridians' most personal information safe. It's just an open target, unfortunately. Uh, government needs to step in and give a little bit more funding to cybersecurity. It's super important and unfortunately underutilized. I, I, I want to, yeah, I also want to be careful here because I've actually been in government and in other places as well. And you're always under resourced. You're competing with a private sector for human capital. Th th there's a lot of issues that go into that, right? And the technology is moving so quickly, even with AI and, and ransomware and all these other things. Jordan Zylowski says she thinks that everyone's personal information is on the internet and there's no way around it. But Schoberg says under no circumstances, even at a doctor's office, should people give out their full social security number. It's terrifying that all these businesses have our information and that they could just be hacked at any time. That is awful to hear. But I always tell people, stop before you just, you know, fill that information out. Too many of us give away information. And why? We say, well, I trust my doctor. Sure, I do too. But all the other people in line, you don't know. Or do they sell that information? We don't know. They say they don't, but a lot of the information is stolen. So really be cautious. So according to an annual report filed by the Florida Attorney General's Office, the data of more than 10 million Floridians has already been exposed through some kind of hack at a state agency over the past three years. And don't forget about private companies. They've also fallen victim to cyber attacks. Big companies like Ticketmaster, AT&T, and Truist are among those who have disclosed that they've had recent data breaches.